I'm going to walk you through a new product that we're excited about that we've been working on uh, for uh, quite a while called Entourage Workshop for Revit. And what the goal was to let you have more control over how your RPCs look inside of your models. So here I'm going to take uh, my dashboard and drag and drop an RPC. I'll choose J here into my scene. So now if, uh, let's start with just kind of how you're used to seeing the RPCs. So we get a preview icon. If I shade that or put it into consistent color mode, you'll get a uh, kind of default gray uh, icon. These icons were never really uh, designed uh, to be used uh, in your presentations. Um, uh, the goal was to always to be able to show some sort of pho photorealistic representation like we are here at J. What's happened though is that over time, uh, products like Revit, uh, you find more and more that customers are doing most of their work in modeling views. So what we wanted to try to do was extend the value of the RPC content by giving you more control about what this looks like inside of your scenes. So um, what I'm going to do, uh, once this is installed, you'll see a new ArcVision uh, menu item up the top and a little styles menu. So if I pop that up, you'll see a new Entourage Workshop uh, menu. Uh, by default, it'll show me all of my RPC content that's in the scene here. But if I switch over to styles, I get a new little style editor. So I'm going to add a style. So it'll be default. And let's call this ghost people. So now I can choose this and I can play around. I have full control over what color I want that to be. So let's dial in uh, just maybe a white. Uh, we have control over saturation and luminance uh, of these objects as well as the transparency. So maybe I'll give this a little transparency, 15%. Um, and I'm just going to leave this in a photorealistic texture uh, render mode. And you'll notice that you also get full control over the geometry. So things like the base that I want to be turned off. I can just choose for that style to not have this base. So I create this style, and now I can go back over to my scene, choose an object in the, an RPC that's in the scene, and I can uh, uh, assign this ghost people uh, style to that entourage. So I'll apply that as soon as it's finished processing, say OK. Now what you're going to see is that the uh, geometry has changed, the base is gone, and as I move around this, you'll notice that there's a slight bit of transparency. What gets fun is that if I pop my style back up and go into uh, uh, back into my style mode, I can uh, choose that ghost people style. And instead of a photorealistic texture in the render mode, I can switch to a stylized texture, which is basically going to take whatever color you've set up above and the transparency values, and it's going to apply that to the texture when you're in your render mode. So let's just go ahead and update that. And now when we go into one of our realistic modes, you'll notice that J is now a white ghosted silhouette of, of the full 3D textures as you move around it. So that's the basics of it. Let's go ahead and let's take a, uh, open up a larger scene here. Open my samples. So here is a sample file that I've got. This is the, probably used to seeing this, the default Revit model that ships out with the scene. I've got a bunch of RPC trees that are in this scene. So here we can see the default gray uh, that you normally would see. And if I go into a realistic mode, we should see photorealistic textures uh, that are being applied there. So there are the photorealistic textures. Let's go back to shaded mode. Let's pop over to a uh, rendering uh, um, view from the parking area. So here's the textures that you're used to seeing. And again, if I go into realistic mode, used to seeing this uh, photorealistic textures were kind of your only option. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is let's close this down, go back to our 3D view, open up the Entourage Workshop. So now we can see that if I go to my styles, let's make a couple of new styles. I'm going to take and make trees. Let's make a red color for this one. Dial in kind of a bright red uh, color for these trees. We'll give it a slight bit of transparency. And we're going to use the, uh, let's go ahead and do photorealistic textures for now. Create that. And let's make another style. Let's call these trees green. We'll dial in the green color. 
maybe a little less saturation, a little bit of transparency. Again, let's use this uh, photorealistic textures to begin with. The base by default is going to be turned off now for this style. Now, if I click back over to my RPCs, I can see all the content that's in this scene. So I'm going to take a couple of these larger trees, select those, go apply the red to those, and then I'm going to take the other tree and plants there and assign the green trees, apply this to all. So you'll notice down below that you'll get a little progress bar that'll show you because we actually are going in and editing the families um, and updating those in your scene. So as soon as that's finished and I cancel, we'll see that those colors being applied. You'll notice that the transparency is actually being applied uh, there that you can see through those scenes. So now if I pop back over to my uh, camera view from that parking lot, what we'll see is now we get our colors showing up, transparency. We can completely stylize these views. Things like your thin lines and thick lines will uh, take effect in this. Um, but if we go back to our realistic view, uh, we'll note, remember, we set the uh, realistic render mode to still be the photorealistic textures. So if I go, though, to the, pop this back up, you have to be in one of the other modes in order to do this. Let's go back to our 3D view. Pop Entourage Workshop up, go back to our style. So for both of these styles, I'm going to switch this to be a stylized texture. So we'll apply it to that style. We'll take this tree's green style, switch it to stylized textures, say OK. So now we'll close that. So it doesn't affect what's going on in the model view, but if we pop back over to our 3D rendering scene and go into a realistic view, now instead of photorealistic textures, we're going to get those textures coming through with the color being applied instead of the, um, instead of the photorealistic textures. So then if you want to do things like, if we go back to our 3D view, you can really um, you know, develop your own style. Uh, obviously, let's go back over, say, add a style. I may want to call this black silhouettes. So now I'm going to take and dial in a really dark black color here. We're going to go and give that a little more transparency, so let's go to about 35% transparency on that. And we'll go back to the stylized, save that style, go back over to my scene, and now I can take, I'll just choose all of the uh, content in the scene by choosing that, and now I can assign the uh, black silhouette style. So now we've got 10 objects in the scene being updated. It'll run through those. As soon as that is done, we'll get the all clear, close the scene. So now we get this nice semi-transparent black view of all those trees. Again, if I go back to my parking lot view of that scene, we now get a nice black silhouetted view. If I go back to my consistent colors, you'll see the black silhouettes. So we think this is going to give, uh, give you a lot of uh, options in how you can make your RPCs appear in your scene, and we're looking forward to getting it out soon. Thanks.